All right, so at Girlsmont High School, we've got a problem with reporting our failing students that are seniors or students that are in danger of failing at the end of every semester. The old method required, you know, this paper to be printed out and teachers to fill this information out and then submit it to the office. Uh, you know, the district decided, hey, you know, that wasn't the best way to do it. Let's go ahead and get a Google Doc. So they made it a Google Doc, which was nice because now teachers don't have to print paper and walk things down. They can just submit them. But all this data right here isn't usable at all. It's just sitting here in a Google Doc. You, know, you can't search it. You can't make reports off of it. Counselors, admin, they still got to go through hundreds of electronic files looking for useful data. And let's be honest, who's, who's going to do that? Um, so what, what I did is I, I kind of looked at the problem and decided to try to, you know, solve the problem with, a, with the best solution possible, not just, you know, with the, the solution that I know how to use. And um, what I've gone ahead and done is I've made a Google Form, which in and of itself is not a big deal. You know, we all know how to use Google Forms. It collects data. But uh, what I did with the data is, is what makes this a little more powerful. So um, if you come over and look at the spreadsheet, you'll notice that there's the typical responses tab um, with takes in all the responses. But um, then what we did is we used some scripting um, to go ahead and get the data separated out into useful chunks of information. So in my school, counselors, they need to find the students that are failing by their alpha responsibility. So we have got one counselor that's responsible for all students A through CO. We've got another counselor that's responsible for all students HE through MIL, etc. So instantly when this data comes in, the scripting automatically pulls out the students that are responsible over here. Okay, the, the, the students that these counselors are responsible for. Um, it also reports by day of the week that's been submitted, day one, day two, and you see there's nothing for day three. It gives administrators a report, you know, automatically updated, okay, Todd has submitted for day one, day two, and day, um, but not day three. Um, so all of this will update instantly on the fly. So I'm going to demonstrate how it works. And uh, then you guys, if you want to know how to build it or you want help set one of these up, just let me know, and I'm more than happy to help. So come over here to the form. First thing, teachers got to tell us what day and do they have students that are failing. So if I'm day one with students failing, I click here. If I'm day three with no students failing, I click here. And you've got everything in between. So I've already done day one and day two, so I'll submit for day three. And I'm going to submit for, let's see, global IT, fourth period. So I'm going to say that these students are failing my global IT class in fourth period. And let's see here. Mike Jones is failing. A 12th grader. And if I have more students failing this class, I'll say yes. Kimberly Estrada Williams to the attendance office, please. If Kimberly I have no more Estrada students Williams failing this class, I'll say no. So I have more students, so hit next. And I'll say Sue uh, Miles is failing 12th grade and no I have no more students so I could keep going I can do this for up to five students I'll hit next do you want to submit this yes so I've just submitted day three and so when I come back here now it shows that responses are coming in and it shows over here that day three has responses in the report, it should show that day three has now been submitted by Todd Bennard. And then, what did I do? Sue Miles is now here, and Mike Jones is now here under the alpha tab that, you know, their counselors are responsible for. And if I submit, this is all alphabetized, so if I submit, if two or three teachers are saying, hey, you know, Sue Miles is failing, They'll all show up categorized right here in a row. So one, two, three. Um, also, counselors that they need to know, hey, I've talked to the student or not, they can just come up with their own little code for, like, you know, highlighting the student and then color coding it as talked to. Or they can come in on each student and they can go ahead and insert a comment and say, you know, spoken with, and then uh, whatever their notes are so that other counselors can see their notes. So... Um, anything that you want to do with this after the data is submitted by this form, uh, counselors and admin can do. It helps for reporting. It helps to make the data usable. Cuts out 100% of printing costs. Cuts out 100% of man hour costs for organizing information. Um, it's all done automatically. So if you want to learn how to do this, let me know. And uh, thanks for checking it out.